Um, I'm Nick Reves, play linebacker here. I'm 19 years old and from Farragut, Tennessee. I got a lot of letters and stuff like that, but not a lot of phone calls and I uh, got a lot of mailings. But um, when it all came, you know, said and done, I only had, you know, a couple offers to, you know, some 1AA and a couple D2 schools. So uh, I went to the Nike camp uh, my junior year and I went with all the top athletes and I felt like I did w well. And I was, from then on, I was just like, I can go 1A and I felt like I could play on that level. So I just decided to walk on to UT and uh, that's how my decision brought me here. Ever since I was eight, Shane was seven, we played on the same Pee Wee team. And I mean, ever since we were little, we've always thrown around the football. And But you know, ever since that first time we put on pads and hit people, uh, that was just always what we wanted to do. No, cut. <laughs> Last year, you did a little dance with you. Yeah. <sighs> Shane, you want to hit us off? What do we got? I don't know. What are, what are we going to do now? <laughs> we got to do something different. We can't dance again. Let's, let's give them, let's, let's rap a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, here. here, go ahead, go ahead. G give me a beat, Nick. Let's go. What have I got? What do I got? Come on, give me a beat. Come on, let's go. Beat. Give me a beat. Uh, okay. Um. Boom, boom. What, what is that? That's awful. <laughs> That's awful. I got some beat, I swear. I'm, I'm trying to rap here, and all I hear is womp, womp, womp. What is that? Womp, 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 womp. No. no. Wow. I think you had more rhythm last time. <laughs> I said I was on a rocky top. It's on Tennessee Hills. You really don't Ain't know. Ain't no smoggy yeah. smoke on rocky top. Ain't no telephone bills. <laughs> One side, I don't know that part. Rocky top, you know, rocky with me. Oh, it's going to me. Good old rocky top. Woo! Rocky top, Tennessee. There we go. Uh, it's something I've never been through. I've never, you know, I've been blessed to where I've never had an injury like that before. So I didn't know what to expect. And uh, it was something that I realized that I had to take just day by day. I couldn't focus on that end result because if I did, I would get discouraged. So just day by day, whether it was just getting the swelling out of, you know, my knee or being able to walk, uh, you know, I had to take it day by day and set little goals before I could accomplish something big. You know, I, I've been kind of vocal about my faith and it's something that uh, you know, I wouldn't trade what happened to me for anything because I feel like it developed me as a Christian, as a person. Uh, and uh, it's something that I've definitely learned a whole lot as far as knowing that, uh, you know what, you never know when it's your last day and you can take that to life. You never know what what's going to happen to you. So why not live with a purpose? Why not live to make an impact on people? And uh, that's that's something I've tried to take uh, as far as being a volunteer football player. I've tried to take the opportunities to go and speak to people and hang out with people and uh, to make a positive image. I feel like you, you had this platform for you don't know how long, so why not use it for the good? Uh, so that's, that's something I've always believed in.